All right, we got easy money for you guys today, all right? 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off, 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Only two exercises, all right? <clears throat> we got a moving push-up, so we're gonna complete, complete a push-up from a wide stance, a medium hand width, and a narrow hand width, all right? Second one, got my heart rate juiced up. So we're running a high knee, trying to stay kind of like stationary in place. I honestly haven't done it in a long time, but it got me pumping for sure, man. I kind of feel alive right now. I kind of feel alive right now. Didn't take too long, under 15 minutes. It's an easy way to get it going throughout the day. If you're feeling sluggish, get it in. If you want to do something else, use it as a warm up. If you're just getting started, just try to do it by itself. I'll throw modifications in in the actual video. Hope you guys all kill it today. Peace. All right, guys, we are going to do three different whip widths of push-up and then transition between those three. I got five rounds through it. Big things here, in my opinion, would be to, even though you're moving your hands, make sure your hands always stay behind your shoulder midline, all right? If one of these versions feels like trash, skip that version and just do two different widths. All right, second exercise, we are going to do a stationary high knees, all right? So I'm trying to stay on the ball of my foot. I'm trying to drive my knee up to approximately hip height. I'm trying to keep my core engaged, and I'm trying to drive my elbow through my body to get some upper body mechanics as well, just because it feels good, and you're just going to burn more calories if you're moving your upper and your lower extremities. Stay true to the work to rest ratios here. Working 30 seconds on the push up, 15 second break, 30 seconds on the high knee drill, and then 15 seconds off, and then complete five rounds, y'all. Yo. 